came out, we've basically fished around this whole back end of this thing, in the, right next to the river channels. You know, we've caught a few, few smaller bucks. Um, you know, Marty just had a good bite. But, you know, for, as far as a tournament this weekend, you know, if it, we do get the rain and overcast and the wind, I'd probably come in here and throw a swim bait looking for a big one. You know, I, I wouldn't come out here and, and throw a drop shot or, or, you know, or even a crankbait. I mean, I, I got to catch big ones in this tournament. I, I have a feeling doing this type of techniques, we're not going to get the big bites. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not probable. Yeah, but wouldn't you agree too, we've seen now that these fish, are, you got bit on that corner and we've had multiple bites. These fish seem to be corner related right now. Yeah, they're, big time. they're sitting up. I mean, it's like right. textbook pre-spawn. Right. You know, they're in that part of the stage where, you know, they're just adjacent to where they want to go and spawn. Right. right. But other areas that I fished today, I've caught a lot better quality fish. Um, not ruling this spot out, but it's not going to be on my first three or four or five stops even. Part um, of the rotation. Part right? of the rotation. You know, I mean, I, you can very easily win the tournament. Made the B list. Exactly. Made the B list, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's kind of one of those spots, if I do want to come back in here and, and, and fish, I'm definitely going to hit this at either coming or going. Right. Um, but there's another little breakout here, and it basically it leads into another pocket where they come in and spawn. So I don't know how deep it is. I haven't been over there in a while. But let's go see how deep it is, and if All it's right. the right depth, I think we can catch them. It's right. got the right structure. All right, well, we motored over, and what we got here is basically the main river channel that leads back into this big bay behind us. It cuts in right here, and it leads back to a spawning area back in here. Now, this ledge on top is like 18, 17, 18 feet, and it actually drops out here to 29. So I don't know if the fish are going to be here, but it's a really, really good spot at times. So it's, it's one of those deals that... I got to check and pre-fish, pre you know, I mean, caught some big ones here. It's just, you know, the, the fish are either going to be here or they're going to be further back or they're going to be not here yet. But at some time there's going to be some, the right ones right here. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to try a couple of different baits real quick along here. And if you get bit, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, the smaller bucks are going to be sitting on this deeper structure right here. So we'll fish through here and see what happens. You know, haven't you seen, I've, I've, reason, I've seen this in even shallow fishing, like when you, the fish really migrate into an area and then on the ledge fishing too. Big fish, they remind me of big bucks. And the bigger fish will sit up on the best stuff. Absolutely. And they will dominate it. And then if it's the right stuff in the right area, mm -hmm. that big one's gonna bite first. Yep, yep. The littler fish are going to give themselves That's up right. quicker, and they're going to be on the most obvious stuff. Right. Now these big ones, you know, that's that's a good, that's a good, uh, tra you know, explanation right there as far as reading into like a big a, you know, I love to deer hunt, and um, it, you find the nastiest, thickest place during the season where you you just wouldn't walk in. That's where the bigger bucks are going to. Mm -hmm. That's where they live at. That that's their security. That's their safety net. They have access to everything they need. A place like this, it's got all the good deep water next to it, but it's got plenty of cover. Fish, baits constantly in and out. If there's a big one down there, he's gonna dominate that piece of cover. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially, you know, I mean, they, they only have to swim, you know, for a big fish to spawn, 100 yards right, right. there and they're spawning. Right. And then they come back out and they're, they're right back where they were. So it's not like a major migration that they have right. to go through, you know, so. Well, that's not meaning that, you know, just because they might be here doesn't mean they're willing to bite though either. Right. Or maybe they want to bite a drop shot or a swim bait down there real deep. You never know, so. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I went, went ahead and dropped Marty back off, and that's actually the first time I ever got to fish with the guy. I've known him for five years now. He's a really great guy, and, and uh, you know, he helped me practice today a little bit. And, you know, I feel pretty good about going to the tournament. Um, have kind of a good idea where the fish are at. You know, they're kind of in that pre-spawn mode and, and it's just a matter of getting the right bites. You know, I, I feel like like I'll be fishing the right kind of areas, you know, and, and you know, changing up some baits, a swim bait, you know, maybe a little bit of a drop shot, for sure a jerk bait, for sure a spinner bait, and just kind of mixing things up and let that day tell me how to fish it because it's gonna be overcast, it's gonna be windy, and we're even gonna have, you know, some, some chance of severe rain later on that afternoon so it shouldn't change where the fish are at but it might change how how I have to catch them so uh, overall it's a pretty productive day and, and uh, 
sun's going down, it's getting cold out here with no cloud cover, so we're gonna head on in.